Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo and we are back in our campaign of EU4 with uh, the mostly not overpowered Sweden. Um, I was looking around with my um, alliances, I'm really um, I really like my alliance with Austria, Poland, um, and I want to get rid with the English alliance to get rid of the extra diplomatic relation. But I will wait until the royal marriage with England dies, and then we will close this alliance because I really don't want to fight. France in the near future. But the English king is still still relatively young, 35 years. This was a great mistake to take the royal marriage with them. Also I found out we could have much more troops. You go into mothball. We really don't need you anymore. So we will build some troops. Um, we really shouldn't do royal marriages. Probably with Austria. But not with Poland because... Uh, I really don't know if we will meet this royal marriage. Do we could go up to be Borg to <coughs> show Russia that we don't mess around? Oh no, a great advisor died. No, we don't want admin power loss. We probably should do it. Um, I don't need the missionary guy because we don't want to do missionary stuff at the moment. Uh, let's take this one. Hmm. What? Ah, oh, I'm so stupid. Again, I did it again. Instead of clicking here, I clicked here and retired him. Ugh. Yeah, with Austria we'll accept that. I really like Austria to be... Uh, we get 15 admin points left. No, uh, back. Or local goods production in Lübeck. Lübeck is quite good in producing stuff and it's a trade center. This also affects my trade there. Uh, how high is my trade income here? Ah, take the admin points. Who needs money? I mean, of course, we need money, but um. So let's see. Is there one? Oh, this guy's better anyway.
So our force limit is at 35, so we should build up more infantry until we reach this limit more or less. Ah yes, we could attack Brandenburg. So, if we'd declare war on you to reconquest, Austria would help you. Blech. So what we need to do is try to get Austria occupied so they won't help you. Like getting Austria in another war where they help me and then they won't defend him. Can we attack you? Nah, because we have a truce. Okay. So we need countries that are not in nature. The Roman Empire, Imperial, there it is. So, there is Castile. Ah, Novgorod. We could attack Novgorod with Austrian help. But they give us trade power. Hmm. Interesting. If we'd cancel the trade power, do I have a claim on Karelia left still? I mean, we really don't need the trade power from you. Another advisor died? Oh no! Ooh, H bonus. So, which H bonus? We've got the adaptive. Uh, we could take the justified wars, aggressive expansion impact. Yep. I think this is great. Now stop. Let's first get a new advisor. Discipline plus five percent reinforce speed. Does this only affect the speed that my troops are reinforced or also the manpower recovery? Now manpower recovery is another Yeah, let's take the discipline guy. Him. So we have to wait until July 15th. If we declare war on you, Austria wouldn't come because they don't owe us any favors and they really don't like to be in this war anyway. I mean, we could do it just to do it, to get it over with. This is dumb land anyway.
before Muscovy gets it. And I don't think that my mm, my aggressive expansion will get higher in the HRE if I take Novgorod. Really? What do they think? I mean, do they think even something? Really? Mobility loses more influence. Could vassalize him. No, we shouldn't because we are over the limit anyway. Uh, let's take Caridia. This is really stupid we really don't have to keep him there at our border so it's 13,000 and 14 it's 27 is this correct yep 27 so It's 30. Let's move out there. Troops are more than enough to do this siege. States. Wait a bit. We still need to do this last idea. So, yeah, it's okay to have more states, but we won't do this. Also, with Livland. Ah, no, Livland is probably already the full stuff Excellent, yeah, that's interesting. We got more manpower. I mean, they have so many claims on us anyway. Lently, the shock plus one, that's nice.
which missions did we have? Oh, acquire subject. And to conquer new states, yeah. Let's wait. Who? Denmark? Really? We don't care about Denmark. Nobody cares about Denmark. can go to 13 and 18 or 31 we probably should build some forts up here like in Kajana land Kajana land to block all this yep that's a good place for a fort us 150. Leaves without upkeep plus one. Yay. Innovative ideas. So now our advisors are even cheaper. That's great. So when does our truce with you end? Somewhere in the total distance. How about you? Not so far in the distance, it's just my years. Oh my gosh. And with you we don't have a truce, but Austria will defend you and I don't want to fight Austria. Will Austria defend Verden? Yeah, of course. But England would fight together with us. Hmm. Be interesting. No, we don't want to fight Austria, we just married them. I mean, if Poland would help. Ugh, I'm such a stupid idiot. I just took the royal marriage of Austria. So again, we've got this problem. <sighs> but but Ludd is already 51, so it's probably not there forever 
Oh, we got... <coughs> we could take military tech. Although we don't have... Oh, yeah, that time. That's great. We did it. Folks, we got ahead again. So our military is now looking much better. We've got 34 troops. Probably we should take the 4th cavalry. I think 35 troops. Oh, it wasn't in 37. So two infantry as well. Yay, I believe. So now we can We probably we probably should take tech first. Eh, probably shouldn't. Um yeah, let let's do this first. Lübeck first. Because Lübeck is really, really Could rent out Condottieri. Hmm. Who would want them? Baden. Hmm. I'm not sure how we should get there. I mean, we probably could black flag them with Brandenburg. Could go to Pomerania, get access through Brandenburg, and black flag it there. That's okay. Or here with uh, Mecklenburg. We don't have a truce with Cologne left, so probably we should, if we are not going for anyone. We should do this and get the enraged our enraged neighbors back to normal. There is no possible way to mm, get to war without getting Austria involved on the wrong side. Ah, too bad. So in January we can take pike and shot which is great oh and we could also take the shipyards nice Separatists. Ah, I should have watched that. Ah, there are separatists in the land, and these can be put out. This one as well. Nineteen thousand troops. Are you serious? Ugh. 
going in Skåne. So after you've done this, you go down here. And how about Livland? Uh. Mm, we could increase uh, the autonomy so we don't have to worry about them. Yeah, why not? They will be a pain in the ass, no Gorodians. Better to lose diplo points now. Mm, this is in mountain, yeah. So we got some advantage on our side. Not only do we have double the size of their army but it's also in mountains and we have a good general we just lost 2000 men, that's ok we can live with that try to fabricate on you again by costing we also could try to annex this guy would probably be worth it we wouldn't. Can we annex him already? I really don't know. Can the Emperor claim our province if we annexed a uh, vassal? Hmm. Yeah, we can annex him. We probably should do this. He doesn't have any any interesting claims for us. We just took him for fun as a vassal. He was this was so stupid from us. And if we annexed him, we've got no diplomatic relations in. Hmm. Let's see. This should work out fine. Let's split this army and put the half of the army there. Normally this should go down to zero now. Yep. I mean, Pomerania is a good vessel. He will be helpful in getting all this land that we need. 
but they are just stupid. So, how about how many ships can we have at the moment? 35, so... You... Uh, come here. Make four more ships. So where do we have this in Karelia, Ingerman Land, Kexholm? But you just reduce 4.5. So we need 20,000 troops. 20,000 troops to 5. These two stacks just just are enough to do these two 4.4 Nuttebork and Ingermann land. But they wouldn't be enough for Kexhorn. Where is Kexhorn? There is Kexhorn. And they wouldn't be enough for Karelia, but with the coring, it should be better. Mm -hmm. So we probably raise autonomy in these two and park our armies here. We'll just just raise autonomy here and here. Really? No, we don't want unrest up. Yeah, let's take this one. because it's now our claim. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah, just stay here. For the moment. greatly upset the Emperor. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to destroy the authority of the Emperor because, uh, I mean, he doesn't have any. I want him as my friend, but I really don't want him to impose more rules on the Empire. Of course, Austria is still there. Why shouldn't they want to help? So, do we have now more? Yeah, we have now too many. Our force limit even got down by integrating him. So, vessel to integrate vessels is not not always the best thing way to do. Because uh, they give you force limits. We now have too many troops, so probably 
just dispense this bunch. Yeah, let's dispense them. It's okay. We don't want to paint too much. Would be nice if we could. Wait, 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 wait. You go there. And you go here. And afterwards, there. Okay. Let's do it like this even. Really don't want to lose even more men attrition or something like that something similar stupid similarly stupid so um let's see let's put the workshop there um Let's get another claim on you. With you the truth will be gone first. We probably... I mean we have claims bordering claims, we should use that. As I said before... Ah, Friesland is not in the Empire. I could try to get a claim on you. If we'd got a claim here, in Hamburg, we could get a claim on you. We could get the Emperor to To do a war with Friesland. Hmm. And then we could attack Brandenburg. That's great. Yeah, but this we will do in the next episode. Until then, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you next time. And bye.